Hey there everyone, I am Celestia Rex and today we are doing something that I absolutely love. We are talking about dessert boards, or rather DIY dessert boards. So, first things first, to do this you're going to need all of your ingredients or all the things that you want on the plate. Oh, not your phone, not your phone. Oopsie daisy. So all your stuff, also some extra beverages if you're interested in it and then any props you might want to use. So think teacups, mini bowls, mini plates, whatever you got going on. I like teacups, so I got one of those, but you can choose. Okay, so let's get into it. First off, okay, so once you're finished laying everything out on the table, there you go. You're gonna to want to decide what is your focal point. For today, I'm thinking these two will be my focal point. And this will be like that. And then out of here, the two widths will be those. Because those are my favorite. Okay. So now, the idea is you wanna make it look as inviting as possible. But also remember, symmetry is your friend. Okay. Also, you want to cluster things around. So, like, two separate little things. Okay, now you're basically just filling up the little white spaces. So. And just like that, we have a DIY dessert board. Whoa! So let's break down how to make this. Step one, decide why you're making this. Are you making it for an event? Are you making it for a friend? Are you making it for just yourself because you're having a self-love day and you love chocolate just as much as I do? Decide what you're doing it for. Because once you know who you're doing it for and why, you can get pretty specific on what you're buying. For example, I know people who don't like chocolates and are just meat eaters, but then we'd get a whole bunch of bultong, cream cheese, crackers, gherkins, those types of things. But if you're someone like me who's got a massive sweet tooth, then you're gonna buy some chocolates, ice cream, um, macaroons, donuts, biscuits, those type of things. So it really depends where you fall on the taste spectrum, okay? From there, decide what you're gonna be putting on and what kind of size. Obviously the board will also dictate what you're doing and whether or not you wanna cut things open. In South Africa right now, it's really hot in summer, so, um. I'm risking all of these things at the moment by having them out because they're going to melt really fast. Um, but yeah, so then decide on how far in advance and obviously the more, lot, lot more you're going to have to leave it out for, the less likely you're going to want to um, buy things that melt easily or that um, get ruined quickly. So maybe a smaller board. Also, try and vary in sizes and uh, textures. For example, I unfortunately only bought one white chocolate bar thing because I wasn't thinking straight, but this uh, board has too much milk chocolate and not enough dark or white chocolate, weirdly enough, which is odd because I prefer dark chocolate. And then also things like getting lots of little pieces to fill in, like this board unfortunately doesn't have enough mini bar ones to scatter around. Yeah, and then also, I personally just think it's nice to include drinks on the table, on the board, because, you know, when you're eating so much stuff, you tend to get thirsty and then want something to drink, so. Yeah, today was a short video, but I really feel like it's a lot of fun to create these DIY things. So yes, give it up in the comments, let me know if you've ever created a DIY board, or if you like to do dessert boards, or if you prefer doing just a set dessert. I would love to know. Thank you, I make new videos every Tuesday and Saturday and I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks, bye!